Here's how to replace the shift cable housings and cable on a bike with a shifter. So I'm using this Jaguar kit that comes with all these different end caps, comes with the cable and it comes with the cable housing. And the different end caps are for different parts on the bike. Like that one would use a different uh, end cap than some of the other parts of the bike, as we'll see here. If your bike is completely stock and hasn't been modified, then you can just measure each shifter cable housing and cut a piece that's the same size. In this case, I've raised the handlebars up a few inches, so the old cable was binding, so I'm gonna need to cut a longer cable than the one that came with the bike. And other cables, like this one in the back, I'm gonna cut one exactly the same size. Same thing for the rear derailleur cable. It looks ridiculously long, but it needs to have a straight shot into the shifter for you to get the smoothest action, so I'm gonna cut another one that has that big loop in it, same size. At the handlebar, I measure the right amount of cable housing so that there won't be any binding. I also should turn the handlebar to the left just to make sure it doesn't bind when I do that. And once I've found the appropriate length, then I go ahead and cut it with a cutter. Now, you are gonna wanna buy the exact right kind of cable cutter, a bicycle cable cutter. I'll put a link in the description. This one was a little over 10 bucks, but it's worth it. I've tried doing this with 10 snips and with plier cutters and standard pliers, and it always smashes the cable. But you can see this thing, cuts it clean and you got a nice hole in the middle. So it's worth it to buy the right kind of cable cutter. Now the end that came with it, the flat end goes into the shifter and then down on the other side going through the frame, it's gonna use the long pointy end that has a little extra cable to get to the metal frame hole. And then on the rear end of the bike, we're gonna take the old one, measure it next to the new cable, give it a cut. And then we're gonna put those same long ended end caps on it so that there is uh, plastic lubrication going along the frame so it doesn't ever drag against the metal of the frame that protects it from doing that. I think that's the benefit of this kit versus buying a cheaper, more generic one. You get a little extra slick and you can see it's a perfect angle along the frame and then same thing on the back wheel. Measure it out to be the same length as the standard one, give it a cut, and then the long end goes into the frame and the shorter end goes into the shifter like this. And this kit also comes with a couple of rubber thingies that you can put on the cable where it rubs against the frame if you want to protect your frame. Now, we're not going to put any oil on the cable because it has slick lube and it's a slick cable. So it feels like it's oiled once it's in there. This thing shifts smoother than anything I've ever had once I got it all done and on the bike. So just go ahead and run the cable through the shifter housing. You can see mine's been injured in an accident, so I've got it duct taped together. So however you open up your shifter, you'll have to do the research on that. And then start feeding the cable through. And as it comes out of the first part, it comes with these three little rubber donuts that you can use to protect your frame from the cable so it won't beat up your paint job. And then keep running it through, running it through, running it through until it gets all the way to the bottom and then tighten it down. You'll wanna look at the instructions for your particular shifter to get it to shift properly and get it really dialed in once you've done that. And then cut the cable and then make it look real and nice for the people with this end cap you put on there and then just crimp it down with pliers and you are done. This thing shifts amazing now.